Hi guys, this is Terry from Australian Anti Ice Campaign. Um, we're doing a segment of uh, Let's Talk About Ice tonight. I have with me tonight to share her lovely story, um, uh, Lauren Stein. Say hi, Lauren. Hello. Uh, Lauren's uh, been clean for about eight months now and she's here to tell her story of hope to people. Um, hi, Lauren, how are you? Yeah, I'm good, how are you? Um, tell me a bit about yourself and your story. Oh, uh, well, yeah, I've been clean for, you know, eight months. Um, <coughs> my addiction was, yeah, pretty full on for about five years up in Cairns. Um, you know, I was managing a hotel, I had two kids, had my own house, everything was great. Started on the drugs, you know, I didn't realise it was going to take hold of me like it did. Next minute, you know, slowly, slowly, it sort of just took everything away from me. And yeah, now I've lost custody of my kids, I was homeless, lost my life nearly, lost all my friends, my family. And that's what it does, it was it only once you tried it that made you do this? Or? Well, as soon as I took it, I just knew, like, that was it for me. You know, it was just so addictive, that hold that it took on me. It was just, yeah, well, full on. <laughs> um, so, what, has that, what have you lost from that? So yeah, basically everything. I was yeah. living out of my car, um, my life nearly, you know, I overdosed and I was in wow. hospital, I was in the psych ward, you know, just, it was just, yeah, that drug, it's just so full on. And that would have made a, an impact on your family in that as it well? It did, like my, you know, my mum doesn't talk to me, my sister, my friends, my best friends from high school don't talk to me, like, you know, I lost, I had a really good paying job, I had my, I was paying off my own house, being a single mum as well, and my daughter, she's, uh, 15, nearly 16, and she mm. hasn't spoken to me in three years. Well, yeah, yeah, well, really, so, really amazing story. Um, yeah, now, um, you know, a lot guys, uh, we're here to let you know that you know, this problem is you know, it's not only uh, limited to people, it discriminates, it doesn't discriminate, it uh, affects everybody in society. Uh, our motto is not even once, and if anyone out there wants any help. You can call our line one eight hundred no to ice. We have support services. We have um, uh, help. We have buddy systems. We our aim is to educate kids in schools. You know, and speaking with Lauren, you know, she wants to come on board as a volunteer later on. Uh, how long have you been clean for now, Lauren? Um, last time I relapsed was eight months ago, and I was clean for about nine months before that. So, cool. you know, life was a little bit hard, and then I turned to the drugs, and it just made me go downhill again. Yeah. So, and what, what sort of stuff did it make you do? Like, what, have, what was some of the worst things you've done? Um, you know, I tried to kill myself, you know, everything like that. Um, stealing money, not paying my bills, just not giving a, a shit really about anybody but myself and the drugs, yeah. you know. And now that you've been clean, what, what sort of hope has it given you? You know, I'm finishing my hairdressing trade now, which I hope to pay forward with the, with the ICE campaign. Um, you know, I really want to get my kids back in my life, but you know, it's just a big struggle. I've got to go to court for that, you know, like it's just, it's not good. Yeah. Uh, well, mm. okay. Um, it's a good story. Yeah. Now, uh, is there any, anyone else out there that you might know that you might need help that you can give them an encouraging message that, you know, oh, there is a chance to get out, get out of this, you know? Yeah, I won't name names, but no. I know that I do have, you know, friends on Facebook and people in Cairns that have have struggled with addiction and they know that they can see me growing and, and getting my life back together and they can see hope and I just want to tell them that there is hope out there and cool. you know, they've got this this awesome organisation now which can help. Yeah and mm. you know as, as you guys are aware you know um, I've been part of this organisation for nearly a year and a half and you know and this is such a blessing to me and you know, just to bring a glimmer of hope to an awareness to people in society, you know, is uh, beyond me, you know, it's very encouraging and I'm just so blessed to have Lauren here today to share her story. Um, now, Lauren, you have a man in your life at all now? Or? Yeah, I've got a new partner now, which is wonderful. He's not a drug user, which is yeah. definitely something... And that would be a blessing too, because you can compliment each other on that Oh, too. definitely. He knows my story and I just, yeah, I'm really thankful for that. Good, that's yeah. good. So it's good that he knows your story because a yeah. lot of people, you know, they look down on you when you have <laughs> it. Initially, like, even with my school friends and my new life that I've created here, I had to move completely away yeah. from, from Cairns and start fresh because being in that circle, you're never yeah. going get, to yeah. get, get off it. But yeah, it's about being honest and brutally, brutally honest because yeah. if, you know, you do relapse, you need that support system yeah. behind you. And the Ice Campaign, we also have buddy systems too, you know, we have buddies that, you know, with lived experience that do help people that are struggling uh, with addiction or coming out of addiction. 
if I do anything relapsing, I can contact our buddies and we're happy to help them. In Victoria, New South Wales, in Adelaide, Queensland, um, I think I believe we're in WA as well. Um, yeah, so one one hundred no twice, and also um, our Neo brand. We have our Neo brands as well. You know, you can buy them on the online store, not even once. Um, Does that all go to charity? That all goes to charity. Yeah. That's to educate the children in schools, and cool. we need people's help as well. You know, it's uh, ten dollars per kid costs us to educate a child and all that. You know, our presenters go in there. You know, they 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 get the awareness. You know, if we can prevent it at a young age, then we're doing the right thing. Mm -hmm. You know, hopefully eradicate it in the years to come. Uh, now, moving on and moving forward, uh, what are your aims and goals in the next couple of years or so? Well, to finish my hairdressing trade, definitely, but most importantly is getting my kids back with me. Yeah. Um, and then, yeah, here's and my that, story. And that was a battle losing them as well. Oh, right? yeah, yeah like, you know, you know, just having to go to court and everything. You know, you just, as a mother, it's the worst not having your kids, as people would know. And, yeah, rekindling all my friendships, if possible, yeah. and, you know, just being successful and happy yeah. and drug-free and, you know, maybe helping, paying it forward with my story can help somebody else. Yeah. That's amazing. Mm. And um, your past experience, like with the was there a lot of any any violent abuse or anything? Yeah, so um, and all that? at a young age, yeah, a young definitely. Age. I found even found in the in the ice circle, pretty much nine times out of ten, there've been abuse, especially the females. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, broken homes, all that kind yeah. of thing. So yeah. What about as a personal thing for yourself, have you so been prior, involved with a bit of abuse and all that? Or? Prior to me getting clean, I was um five years with a drug user who was quite a heavy user and yeah he put me in hospital almost killed me mm. yeah so that was my wake-up call and that's when I thought you know what I need to find something and that's when I looked up and asked God for help because you know I was never mm. religious but got myself baptized and my life turned around that was amazing mm. truly amazing story and, mm. and that's the key you know everyone everyone needs something inside to you know give them some hope and mm -hmm. you know some uh, chance at life and an opportunity to you know succeed and do something uh, good in their life. Mm -hmm. um, now, now a couple of like a couple of things that you did like while you're in the ice uh, ice game, mm -hmm. say because it is a game. It's uh, horrific and yeah, uh, a couple of bad things you did. Sorry to be blunt, but uh, yeah. it's nice to let people know what goes on when you're on this drug. Cause yeah. it's not really you. It's an actual the animal instinct that yeah. takes over. So yeah, pretty much sold my soul. Really, you know, anything that was of value, I could sell and just for that next high. And you know, as soon as you get any money, you just like spend it all on the drug. But I wasn't really you know, um, out to break the law or anything like that. I didn't really do that. But yeah, everything around me was stealing from me or, you know, it was just, there's no, well, there's no nothing. Nobody gives a really a shit no, <laughs> in that, in no, that game. No. And you and think that, they're and friends the thing, are your friends you know, and they're not and, you know. Yeah, and, and that's what it is, you yeah. know. And because you're not knowing because of what the drug does yeah. to you, you, you just, yeah. you don't think any different yeah. of it. Yeah. You just go on with it because you're in that, inducement yeah. that the drug does it puts you like yeah. a zombie mode in a, like a sort of comatose yeah and the outside world has gone yeah and everybody that in on that drug is going to rip you off or do something bad to you because they're just out for that same thing there's no friendships yeah. in that game you know yeah and it's such a blessing that the lauren has got out of it as well guys so that, you know the steps are you know there's two percent hard get out of it and you know we need that step to rise and mm -hmm. more people getting out of this addiction it's really horrific um anyone that's watching if you can like and share this and get the awareness out there it'd be yeah. appreciated you know anyone that knows lauren to share this and give people some hope that there is hope out there and all that um uh, anything else you'd like to tell anyone not really but yeah feel free to message me if anybody needs to talk about this you know um, yeah. definitely can speak from experience and yeah. There's help out there. And, and Lauren will eventually be a part of the um, Australian Energy Ice campaign on one of our volunteer crews. So, yeah. you know, she can share her story in schools and that as well, eventually with training. And, yeah. you know, we also always look for volunteers and that as well on board. So. If I can do it, you guys can do it, you know. Yeah. Just got to, you know, ring up and get help. There's help out there. Mm. There is help out there. Um, also, guys, uh, just bear in mind that... Um, 
you know, this this isn't a joke. It's actually reality. You know, we don't do this just because of the sake of doing it. We're doing it to save lives. Yeah. We're really doing it to save lives. You know, and this every time I discuss this issue, it really breaks my heart and hurts me because it's something close to my heart. You know, I once was an addict and you know lost everything as well. And you know, as soon as Lauren said she wanted her to come come on the show, um, it was just a, a true honour on my behalf to have, <laughs> to have someone else, you know, that wants to share their story and give people hope out there, you know, that want to um, that want to get off this drug. You know, it's really horrific. And most of the people that work for for you guys understand because they've been there, you know, yeah. and it's just yeah. And that's what it is. The live by experience is the key. You know, we. We educate kids in schools, we do our presentation, we tell them the effects and the causes and the products that are in there, you know, $10 per child to anyone out there, any businesses want to donate or, you know, sponsor us and help us get in schools, we're happy to help. Uh, 1-800-NO-TO-ICE is our number, uh, that's uh, the hotline you can call. Um, thank you so much. Thank you, right. thanks for thank having you me. Having your... And thanks for everybody that's supported me throughout my, my recovery. Um, share share Lauren's journey. You'll, she'll keep you posted, and uh, we'll go from there. Oh, cool. I was thanks super so. nervous, so thanks for sticking by. <laughs> thanks, guys. Cool. Bless you all.